Okay. Hey campers, today we're gonna do some soft body dynamics. It's super fun. I think soft bodies look pretty cool. Um, and you can obviously take this technique and make it look way doper than what we're doing here, but this is what the finished product will look like. And here's how we get there. So we're gonna make a sphere, make it an icosahedron, and go to display, garage shooting lines. Um, that's what a standard sphere looks like. This is what an icosahedron looks like as far as topology goes. So you want the icosahedron um, and you want probably around 50 segments, um, maybe 40 or 50. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 50. I got a 39 in this bitch. And uh, middle mouse button to pull up all your views and then command, control, drag to duplicate this guy. Add a bit of variance in scale. Duplicate him again. Maybe scale this one up again. And duplicate him again. I don't know. Add a bit more scale and duplicate him again. Add a bit more scale. I'm making a lot of these things pretty quickly. That's pretty neat. Um, and then I'm just gonna add a bit of variance as far as the Zenith locations go. And then I'm gonna add a Taurus. Scale this bad boy up and add some more, make it a little thinner. And add some more ring segments. I'll just start this octane render so you can see what's going on. <clears throat> so, now we got that pretty, pretty sweet. Um, select all your spheres, go to simulation tags, soft body. Soft bodies are kind of wonky, but they're really, um, they're not too wonky. They're a little wonky. Um, so once you have these all selected, soft body tags, I'm gonna add some pressure. I'm gonna go with 40 pressure units. I'm not sure what their pressure units are. And then before I hit play, Taurus is a, um, a collider body, which is good. Uh, hit Control D, bring up your general dynamics tags and turn off your gravity. And then press play, Let's see what happens. Whoa, oh, these little ball friends having such a fun little ball party in front of this ring. Um, it looks pretty fun. And it must be pretty fun. They look like they're having a great, a grand time. So this is how a lot of people get the like cool swirly stuff it's just soft body with pressure and a bounding box um, and they can you can add like different attractors and stuff to uh, provide some more motion but this is kind of the basic the basic uh, setup for a lot of these cool soft body simulations and visualizations so I'm gonna add a bit more pressure here you can go crazy go to 60. And then I'm gonna go even crazier and add a soft body tab to the Taurus, um, which will allow the Taurus to constrain these balls. I'm not putting pressure on the Taurus, but, uh, the, and this will get wonky as far as caching goes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and preemptively cache this guy, bake it. Five minutes left on this card. Go, cool. rubber band man. Way to hold it down, kind of. Rubber band man. Neat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these guys in the null because the simulation is cached. I can just light for one angle, have it rotate. And uh, it'll look pretty cool. So 
I'm rotating the null. I'm just gonna go ahead and keyframe this rotation. Keyframe, no, keyframe this one. Maybe not all the way there. Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Geared. Cool. So now I'll get to render edit render settings output 2160 by 2160. I have three minutes left on this card. I wonder if I can get it done. Um, render all frames. Save to soft body tutorial. Auction render. Cool. And then add an HDRI environment, add a targeted area light. Bring up your four views, rim this bad boy. It's very, very bad, bad man. Ooh, don't wanna do that. Hold Alt and uh, middle mouse button to cruise around in this view. I'm gonna add my three rims. Some people think three rims is excessive, you know. Just really don't talk to those people all that much. And then a nice little key. Uh, you sit Ben, still looks like shit. Well, duh. In bozo mode. Eight, four, four, enter. And all of our lights are way too bright. How do we fix that? I'm so glad you asked. Select them all, bring them down. We don't even need to see them. Some visibility off. Wow, cool, much doper. I'm gonna create an octane material. Make it a glossy material. I should probably be explaining these this as I as I go through it, but whatever. Next one. Apply it to everything. That looks pretty cool. Maybe add a tiny bit of roughness. Maybe make them specular. No, speculars won't look good with this. Um, probably not diffuse. Um, maybe make them all red. If you do colors, you usually need to add a few more lights. That's just my my thinking. Um, I go a minute and thirty. All right, choose this atrocious color. Uh, I'm gonna fill this guy in a little heavier. Give it a tiny bit of depth. Not desperate housewives or something like that. Right, maybe half that. And then bring in a plane. Maybe I'll just have to. Well, I guess you guys aren't really watching my face. I'll just go through it. Make sure that this plane is in front of your lights. Put it on your plane. Put it on your plane, computer. That's what I said. Um, you know, add a bit of color contrast. Okay. That looks really pretty bad. Um, 
got a bit of roughness to those too. Yeah. There you have it. 